Hey everybody, thanks for joining us for our weekly pastoral update. Uh, we are finally into the summer months and I'm excited as well, probably as many of you are. Uh, I know definitely for our teachers and our students to be uh, into these summer months. And for a church, we got a lot of great things going on this summer. We're in the middle of our Wedgwood Loves Local uh, local mission trip. We have our youth camp and children's camps coming up later this month. We have obviously our Seattle mission trip. We have uh, mission trips to Wales and to Alaska. There's just a lot of great things that are uh, coming up in the weeks ahead. And so I've I've mentioned this before, but I just wanted to say this once again. Uh, I think it's important for us that although we are maybe out of our normal weekly routines, we don't have a lot of our Wednesday night stuff going on, um, and a lot of our normal routines, maybe with school or kind of our daily activities, are a little bit different in these summer months, uh, just to make sure that, that God is still the priority and centered in your life. I know sometimes when other areas of my life change, it can affect even my spiritual life as well. And so I want to encourage you over these summer months to continue to make sure uh, that you're abiding in Jesus, that you're seeking after Him and His Word, that you're spending time in prayer to maybe even use some of the the downtime that you might get in these summer months uh, for a little bit more reflection, for a little bit more contemplation on the goodness and greatness of God and what He's maybe calling you to do, how He's calling you to live. And let me encourage you as well to stay connected here. Uh, Again, I know a lot of people are out with great things like mission trips or vacation or or there's different things that are coming up in the summer months. Weddings, I know, are a a pretty popular uh, summertime activity as well. And so let me encourage you to stay connected, though, with your missional community, uh, to not and disconnect from that community of believers, to stay connected with our weekly worship service, uh, to be joining in with us as we come together each Sunday to worship God, to be reminded of His centrality in our lives. And so over these summer weeks, we're going to be doing a series that we've just simply titled, Therefore. Uh, we're going to be looking at all the different therefores in Scripture, in the Gospels, and many of Paul's writings. There's a lot of times that that word is used, that English word is used, uh, to uh, harken back to something that was very important and what we need to do in light of that. So we'll be taking one of those passages each week over the summer months before we head into this fall. This fall, we're going to be looking at the life of David. We're going to start there in 1 Samuel with his uh, anointing and rise uh, to power as the king of Israel. And so it's going to be a great, exciting series. I think that God's got a lot to teach us through that as well. So, again, remember, Wedgwood Loves Local is going on this week. Every morning, if you want to jump in, uh, 9 o'clock in the mornings, this is Monday through Thursday, June 6th through the 9th, uh, we'll meet at the gym at 9 o'clock. We'll have lunch around 11.30 or so. Uh, Between those two times, we're going to be going out serving in our community. Uh, And then in the evenings, we're going to be hosting block parties. So several of our missional communities are going to be hosting block parties in their neighborhoods. And then we're going to have a park kind of block party. Uh, on Monday and Tuesday at LeBlanc Park, uh, there right off of Granbury Road. And then we're going to be over at Southwest Community Center. It's right next door to Southwest High School there on Alta Mesa. And so we'll be there each night from 5.30 to 7.30. And so feel free to come out and join us, meet our neighbors, connect with our community as well. If you can't join us, we appreciate your prayers for sure. Uh, To continue to be praying that God would give us favor, an opportunity uh, to share with other people in our community the good news of the gospel. So hope you have a great week. We'll either see you this week at one of those events or we'll see you Sunday, 9 o'clock worship, 10.30, uh, missional communities and later on in that afternoon uh, to follow as well. Hope you have a great week. God bless.